Hello, Ramley and other NFL family. Payo time here. You're a Canadian Ram fan. I am on the road. Yes, uh, just rocking that road life. But speaking of on the road, the Rams are on the road. They're going to Green Bay, Wisconsin this week. This today, this is pregame, of course, today. Uh, to take on the Green Bay Packers. Oh boy, folks. Oh boy. The Rams have not had a lot of success against the Packers as of late. However, the Packers have not had a lot of success in general this season as of late, nor have the Rams. So you have two teams that are kind of in that swimming for the playoffs, you know, keep keep their head above water in the playoff race going against each other. My my general thoughts on this game is it comes down to if Matthew Stafford is healthy to play, and, and Sheriff Joe of Ram Showcase said it great, a 60% Matthew Stafford is better than 100% Brett Rippon. So if it's Brett Rippon, which is, by all, everything we've seen on the internet and, you know, sources that, that we have access to, all accounts would lead to me, me believing that Brett Rippon will be starting for the Rams today. Is this great? Nah. Is, and, and again, Sheriff Joe did a great job pointing out that Brett Rippon was the third string quarterback that was likely going to get cut. But because of, you know, exterior situations with Stetson Bennett, he got thrust into the backup role. So I don't know. I, I really don't know, uh, you know, how this game is going to go with Brett Rippon at quarterback. My instinct thing when I think a lot about it is, okay, run the ball, Daryl Henderson. Let's go, Hendo. Royce Freeman, let's set him free. All right, let's run that ball. Run the ball. Run the ball. That And you can, you can run on this Green Bay team. And I would be A-OK -okay if this is, you know, if the Rams want to try and break a franchise rushing record for single game today, I am all for it. <laughs> um, that being said, we know that we have a good wide receiving core in Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, Tutu Atwell. Higby can be a reliable target at the tight end position. So can we, you know, can Brett Rippon be enough of a game manager to, you know, and follow the game plan that gets these pass catchers, you know, in open space and he hits them in target? So we'll see. We will see. My my general thoughts, I'll be honest, going into this game is I I am nervous. I I I have a feeling it it, it could be a game that is a it's a bit of a punt fest, which I don't think people get excited about, but we will see. We will def definitely see. As always, I'm hoping the Rams win. I'm predicting they win cuz never pick against the Rams. Uh I will also say thanks so much everyone for for tuning on in. Due to uh, some an unexpected travel delays uh, in just life right now, I'm not going to be able to do a Rams watch party for this game. I'm so annoyed about it, uh, but there were some external circumstances outside of my control that uh, I uh, I just I, I don't have the capacity to uh, do a watch party today. And uh, I I thank you all for understanding, but seriously good morning thanks for watching i hope you're all having a great day and uh, i hope you enjoy watching the rams and packers today i will do my best to have a post game reaction video uh out to it and uh i i'll have to start the game i'm getting it you know getting it uh it recorded so i'll be able to watch the game in its entirety just i won't be able to do a watch party today so thanks so much for watching and as always go rams Horns up and peace out. Let's go Rams! Woo!